this cutscene in the beginning is honestly really cool. I think it works this time because last time I had it, they didn't even show the Igris. Yeah, the Igris doesn't even load for me. I don't know if that's just me, but um, I'm sure it looks really cool though. Like I'm guessing he's supposed to be sitting down on the throne or something, but yeah, it does not load. Whatever. So the units I have brought, the two most important units I'd say are Speedwagon and Taka, Taka Rodora, Taka Roda, whatever this guy, this other farm is. You absolutely need both of these farms. I've tried doing this with just Speedwagon before and I died at wave 30, so you need both of these farms. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the team is actually pretty subjective. So... I personally have Igros as my main DPS because he's full OE and immune to stun. But the new Tengen unit is another full OE and he has a 60% chance to dodge the stuns of the boss. So Tengen would also be a very good replacement for Igros. And then I'm using Sun Jin Wu for Sun Jin Wu's ability, which is just great boss damage. But Alucard would also be a very good substitute. As you see, I have Vegeta. Vegeta's passive to do 100% more damage to bosses is really strong for the boss. The main thing about this event is just killing the boss. The minions are pretty hard. But the boss is for sure what will probably give you the most difficulty. So for me, I think Vegeta is just very good to get the boss out of the way. But don't think that you need this exact build to do this event. Um, as long as you have something pretty similar, you should be fine. I'm setting up around the back like here. The reason I would recommend to not set up at the very, very back. Because when you get the boss down to 2k HP, it will do a final dash. And if you set up too far back, then your run will just end because it'll dash to the very, very end. So you want to give yourself a little bit of leeway, which is why I think this is like a little good spot right here. Probably build up more here. Yeah. I'm going to get an Igris down. I'll show all of the footage just in case you find more reassurance in copying me bar for bar. But I do want to clarify that this event is hard, but it's not impossible. Like, you, you have a bit of leeway. So don't overstress about making sure you do everything the exact same way I do. Maybe you take one extra round to get your farm up than I do. That's completely fine. Like, look, I just had these two guys leak, and I'm just going to place a Vegeta back here. It's no big deal. Yeah, nothing too exact. You know, it's not like those AA tournaments where you have to get it pixel perfect. Alright, so wave 10 is approaching. As you see in the back, Igris is going to spawn. He's now going to enter the field. I'm trying to upgrade both my Sunjin Wu and my Igris pretty well. But I'm going to have to start going for Igris' foil I just want to make sure I'm upgrading my Sunjin Wu so my Sunjin Wu can start getting takedowns. For his passive. Gonna go for Igris' Fuyoi next round. Boy, oh, we. It was a little bit tight at the end there, and I'm actually I'm gonna have a little bit of leaks, but it's completely fine. I can just place some units back here to chop it to clean it up. So maybe I'll place like another Vegeta. Place all my Vegetas back there, and maybe even an Igris. And then for my final slot, I did bring a Sakura. Now, there's multiple supports you could possibly use for this slot. 
Haruka Rin gives damage and range is a really good for his full AoE. Crocodile is a slow, Sasuke is a stun. I do think Sas Sakura is probably one of the best, and she's also an epic, so I feel like it'd be good to use her as an example because since she's an epic, it'd be pretty easy for everyone to have her. But Igris himself does stun our troops, so really good to have a Sakura. In fact, I'm going to try to have multiple here. I also want to make sure I have my Sunji Wu on strongest by the time Igris arrives. Alright, I'm going to activate his Arise ability already just so Igris can get the buff from it. You can activate it even later if you want. I'm just using it to get the Igris buff off. They stun my units, use Sakura. Also, use Sakura. This first Igris should go down pretty smoothly. Oh, wow, he did it again. Oops. Let's use Sakura again. There we go. Gonna max out the Sunjin Wu. Oh, frick. Loki just gonna sell and replace the soccer right here just so I can unstun them. I was very slow on it though, as you can see, but oh well. I kind of messed up a little bit, but it's fine. This Igris should die. There we go. The first circus is by far the easiest, so. I'm personally only gonna, only gonna set up one Sunjin Wu. The main thing to get from him is the passive from the Arise ability um, to buff Igros. So there's no real need to get multiple of him done. So for the rest of the time, I'm just going to build other Igrises. Alright, I was able to max out a second Igris. Gonna get that third one. Wait, oops, I placed one back here. I'm gonna move him over here. I wanna make sure I'm placing Igris in like a pretty good spot to get as much out of his range. To get the most out of his range, I mean. Oopsie. This time I'm going to try to time the Rise ability a little bit differently to make sure that um, it hits Igris as much as possible. Again, if you have Alucard, Alucard's ghoul ability is also very good for the boss. Just make sure you're timing it so that the ghoul is actually hit the boss itself. Now, Loki, for the first Igris, I could have made it so my Rise killed more of the minions. So that way, it would work on this passive a little bit more. But it's not that deep. Like I said, there's a lot of margin for error. Don't don't stress too much, y'all. You just gotta make sure you have these two forms. I'd say that's the number one thing to make sure you can afford everything. I was able to kill the second Igris with just speed wagon, but the third Igris was way too hard. It does go up to wave 30, if I haven't mentioned that already. Oops. Alright, gonna try to be more attentive with my soccer abilities. By instantly using them. Akra. Sakura. Gonna use my Arise ability once I kill these goblins over here. There we go. Where he sees my other Sakura. Use Sakura. A really good thing is that Tengen himself is immune to stun, which really, really helps. But if you bring a different set of characters that aren't immune to stun, the Sakura will be even more helpful. So, as you can see, it might seem a little last second, but if you have to build back here to kill your Igris, that's perfectly fine. It's no biggie.
But now we should start setting up for the final Igris, which is obviously the strongest one. For reference, the Igris we just killed has about 900,000 HP, and this guy I think has about 1.5 million, if I'm getting the number right. He should be spawning relatively soon, but... Now, since with my other DPS slot, I brought a Vegeta, I'm going to personally go for another Vegeta instead of a Sun Jin Wu, because Vegeta does do more damage against um, single enemies, so it just be really good damage for the boss. I'm going to build a Vegeta, like... I think back here is fine. And then just max him out. He does have this pretty mid line AoE, which isn't good for killing the minions themselves, but again, it's good for killing the Igris. Alright, the Igris is up. I'm pretty sure wave 30 is the final wave. So I can indeed sell my farms now. Um, where are they at? Let's see. Sell my speed wagon. And this guy. Oh, he can't be sold, right? So I'm pretty confident with this I'll be able to beat it. The mains are actually getting pretty far. Oh, they're getting further than I expected, not gonna lie. Loki might activate a rise just to be sure. Why not? Just play it safe. I'm activate a rise. My fault, y'all. Miscalculation. Oh, it's because I wasn't building. Oh, I'm so dumb. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot to use an arise way earlier on to get up my air gross passive, but whatever. Like I said, margin for error. Sorry, guys. Very ghetto tutorial. I know. I know. It could be a lot better, but it's fine. Now I just gotta slowly wait for the Sagres to make it all the way here. I probably will have my ability back up in time before he leaves this range. It's actually pretty good. I feel like this tutorial was so bad though, just because I trolled at the end there. I kind of got close. I mean, it didn't get that close, but it kind of did. <laughs> Lol. I, whatever. At least I'm just showing you guys it's possible with these units, you know? Alright. Gonna be attentive with my Sakura. Unstun my Sun Jin Wu. Unstun. Yeah, he gets it back in 55 seconds. I think I'll get it back in time. Now, once again, we're going to have to be very aware that when he gets down to his final bits of HP, he does sprint. So, got to be careful. Unstun. My Vegeta's just trying to get some hits in. Loki building Sakura near the Vegeta is way more important. So I'm actually going to put a Sakura over here. So when they get stunned, I can unstun. Unstun. Oh, 10 more seconds for the Arise. Do I get it in time? Even if I don't, I'm pretty sure I still got this, but... You guys can for sure get another rise ability in time. I was just a bit silly with mine, so I didn't get it. So as you can see, Ergris is sprinting at the end here, but as long as you make sure that he starts sprinting like at around here and you don't wait too too last second, you'll be fine. But yeah, two trophies, 200 gems, 16 of the currency, and GG. So yeah, a little bit of a sketch run. Sorry about that, but it is really not that bad. You guys can do way better. I know y'all can. Hope this video gives you a bit of reassurance that the event is not too hard. Uh, as long as you bring the right characters, you'll be fine. Alright, good luck everybody. Have a good one, y'all. Peace out.